Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, your local vision experts. Experienced doctors using state-of-the-art technology. Choose from top designer frames from Oakley, Ray-Ban, Nike, and more. We accept Medicaid and Medicare. Plus, most insurances are accepted. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, next to Tractor Supply. With the 4th of July on its way, many people will be lighting fireworks leading up to the holiday. Pikeville Fire Department is doing their part to inform everyone of proper firework safety guidelines. They recommend always handling explosives with care, keeping a safe distance from any type of firework, and using adult supervision if children are present. I always remember that fireworks needs to be done outside in an open area, just due to the fact that some of them do, um, uh, like the old jumping jacks that used to sell, um, when they bounce, they could go, actually go left, right, or whatever else. So if you do it in an open area, it gives it more room for the firework to do what it is designed to do. And always make sure you follow manufacturer's guidelines on proper use and proper handling of fireworks. And always be under adult supervision. Some types of fireworks are more dangerous than others and could possibly require safety gear. Roman candles and mortars can cause significant harm if mishandled. Sparklers are not too bad. Uh, they're pretty well straightforward, but the Roman candles or anything that you have to hold, um, I would be a little wary of. And your mortars uh, shells, those have a tendency that sometimes they may not come all the way out of the tube or maybe they don't come out of the tube at all and they explode right there on the ground. So it's always good that if you're doing with, dealing with mortars to have uh, uh, protective equipment on, would it be just a simple set of glasses, maybe some hearing protection, um, gloves. I mean, it doesn't have to be fire retardant but uh, or fire resistant. It just needs to be something that, that protects your uh, bare skin and, and your soft tissue of guys. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.